In this video, we're going to address temperature in terms of converting from one unit to another. In this case here, we have three units that we're going to be dealing with in this video. And it's going to be based on this question right here, which says that for location A, let's give a specific location for A to be, let's say, Lagos, Nigeria. And we're going to be comparing this location's temperature here to location B's temperature. And the specific temperature location we're going to pick for B here is Phoenix, Arizona. And for Phoenix, Arizona, in the United States, Arizona, uh, in the US, um, it states here that on average the predicted temperature for a specific day in lagos nigeria is 41 degrees celsius however in phoenix arizona in the united states the unit is different and it's recorded to be 103 degree fahrenheit and so now here the question is this is location a temperature greater or less than location B's temperature or if we want to use the specific symbols for greater than or less than we can use this symbol for greater than and this symbol here for less than and this here is a question here comparing these two temperatures which one is greater than the other and we see that the units are different so there are a couple of ways to address this but we need to go back a little bit to our understanding of the units of temperature and how you can convert from one unit to the other and so for temperature formula we notice there that there are three that we need to we are aware of when it comes to the formula and the last one here we'll just kind of play around with it and we'll look at an example based on that and so the formula includes the formula following first is that how are we going to be able to convert from degree fahrenheit here to degree celsius in order for we to accomplish this what we use is that to determine the temperature in degrees celsius this here is equal to 5 over 9 and this scale factor is multiplied by the result of our temperature in Fahrenheit minus 32 degrees and so this here will enable us to determine what the value of the temperature in degrees Celsius and the next formula here that we looked at is how about we go from degrees Celsius back to degree Fahrenheit and now for we to accomplish this we use this formula which is to determine the value in degree Fahrenheit what we know is that we need to multiply our 9 over 5 by our temperature in degree Celsius and our result here we add to 32 and this here will enable us to get to our value in degree Fahrenheit and the final one here is based on the SI unit of our temperature and this here says that to go from degrees Celsius to Kelvin what we know is that our temperature in Kelvin to uh, in order for we to determine that value we have our degree Celsius and we add 273.15 and this here will give us our final answer so now we're going to use two of the three formulas here to solve this question and these two here will be split into two parts one part is going to be what one way either by going from one method to the other or the other way if you're in a different location going to the, the other unit and let's check it out here so what if for example you are in location a and in this case here and we have to do is we are going to convert from our degree celsius all the way to degree fahrenheit and this here will enable us to determine what the value is so in here our degree fahrenheit 
we know that we're going to use the formula which is 9 over 5 and our result we multiplied by the temperature in degrees Celsius which is 41 and this 41 degrees Celsius we are going to add it to uh, 3 over 2 and this 3 over 2 is in degree Fahrenheit you might be asking why the reason why is because when we look at our 9 over 5 this 9 comes from the degree Fahrenheit and our 5 comes from degree Celsius so the degree Celsius cancels out the degree Celsius and uh, what we have now is this in Fahrenheit plus our value in Fahrenheit and our answer of the temperature in degree Fahrenheit is what is equal to 105.8 degree Fahrenheit and so if you are in Lagos and you want to see what the temperature is here in Fahrenheit for Phoenix Arizona all you have to do is check your temperature and convert it here to what convert it to the Fahrenheit and compare Fahrenheit to Fahrenheit and what we see here is that the value in Lagos for Fahrenheit is greater than that of Phoenix Arizona's temperature for that day now what if you are in location B what are you going to do for location B what you're going to do is the other way around you're going to convert your temperature in degree Fahrenheit to what values in degree Celsius and how does that look like this looks like this here where we have our conversion formula in degree Celsius to be equal to what uh, 5 over 9 and our answer we're going to multiply by the subtraction of the two values which is 103 Fahrenheit that is the value in Phoenix Arizona uh, minus uh, 32 and this 32 is in degree Fahrenheit so this here degree Fahrenheit this here is in degree Celsius for the 5 and the 9 is degree Fahrenheit so what happens now is that your Fahrenheit cancels out the Fahrenheit and once you solve this and your answer you multiply by 5 and divide by 9 that will give you your result for the temperature in degree Celsius to be equal to what? to be equal to 39.4 degrees Celsius so you can see here that if you're using this here this here proves that our uh, Lagos value in degree Celsius is greater than the temperature in Phoenix Arizona in degree Celsius on the other side here it's still proven correct that the value in Lagos for degree Fahrenheit is greater than that in Phoenix Arizona's value in degree Fahrenheit so these are the two ways to approach this particular question and so the next one here we're going to look at is how about you are giving values in degree Celsius and you're going to be converting to Kelvins so in here you're giving an anti or anti freezing and this anti freezing here is added to engine oil to help prevent the engine oil from freezing at a specific temperature that is below you know, the freezing point for water and usually they give you that specific value as the limit to how much it can go lower in terms of its functionality at that particular temperature and so this here is known as a coolant and this coolant here is labeled in this particular question to protect what up to a specific value which is around let's label this with negative 23 degrees celsius and so this here is how much this particular antifreezant can function at that particular state and so now the question here is that when you are in a particular cold region and it's experiencing winter and you have 
this particular temperature that is recorded for a specific day to be given in kelvins no many places around the world uses kelvins but we're just going to write the value here in kelvins to be around 246 sorry 0.48 kelvins as the regular temperature here for that particular day and the question says that will it protect at that particular value and we're going to address this question by using a specific formula that we've talked about so now here is the solution to this question so first is that we need to convert our value of the external temperature which is this here 246.48 kelvins we need to convert it to degrees celsius so that we are going to match the value that is for that particular external environmental temperature in degrees celsius to the limit at which this particular antifreezing functions and so in here what we're going to use is the formula which is our uh, temperature in kelvins to find this we are going to get our temperature in degrees celsius i'm going to add this value to 273.15 now take note here that because we are given kelvins but we need to find degrees celsius we are going to switch partners here so what do you do here we are going to subtract both sides by the specific constant value here which is 273.15 and so our new formula here is going to be degrees celsius is equal to the temperature in kelvins minus 273.15 and so once you have this you can now put in this value here that is given into this particular equation for kelvin and so what that looks like is uh 246.48 minus uh 273.15 and therefore our value in degrees celsius is equal to what it's going to be equal to negative 26.6 degrees celsius and so what does this mean this means that when you look at the thermometer we know that the thermometer can go all the way up and down our current state that this particular antifreeze can function at is at negative 23 degrees celsius this value of the external environment is way below this particular value here and this here environmental condition which is negative 26.6 shows that this antifreeze cannot properly function at this particular environmental condition so this antifreeze is not valued for or valid for this particular environmental state for your engine oil to function properly anyways i hope you found this really informative in terms of converting units in temperature from fahrenheit to degrees celsius from degrees celsius back to fahrenheit and from kelvins to degrees celsius i hope you found this really informative please hit the comment down below let me know your thought about this by that way we can talk to you soon Stay smart as always and believe in yourselves.